Alright, but anyways, anyways, so MK Leo makes a lot of sense, right? I think he's he's a front runner for best in the world right now. Uh and then now I think the person that makes the next best sense is Nairo. Right? Hey, Keith and Boo Boo Kachu. Both you guys, welcome. Yo, Keith, how's it going, man? And Boo Boo. Welcome to Sub Pub, guys. Thank you so much. We're almost there. Sub goal. 2000 to attend. To enter Slap City. Alright, uh. Yeah, what's up, guys? Hugs my main dino baby. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> um. Run it. This is what I'm here for. Yes. Yes, the, the invites. Uh, so. Nairo makes the next best sense because honestly he's been attending a couple of events I think he's only attended two though, but that's fine. I mean the game hasn't been out forever That's okay um, And he's been placing highly at all like he's been placing top three or top four at every single one They've all had good competition So he's definitely not doing poorly. He's doing just fine uh, Are there people more qualified in terms of results right now? Yes, but, I mean, I don't think you can really knock Summit for picking someone who's got results and has one of the biggest followings and one of the most successful Smash 4 players and Brawl players of all time. Like, you can't knock him for picking someone that, you know, by the time Summit rolls around, he could probably be in the top 10 or in the top 6. Sorry. Like, there's no reason to say that he can't be there already right it's just he's only attended two events he hasn't done the best if you really expect summit to pick their six based on the six best players within one month of, of gameplay that's whack because you could easily have someone who won a tournament in the first week of the game's release get like 129th at genesis who gets 129th at majors that is ridiculous so that could happen and then you end up oh genesis happened and then one of these guys got 129th that you thought was going to be really good and they don't have the star power to you know justify the the invite then you're all fucked up right so this is totally fine like you could also rely on nairo doing really well in the coming months totally fine pick in my opinion now zero has only attended one event uh which is just one less than nairo so it's not that bad obviously one of the best smash players if not the best Smash players of all time. There's absolutely nothing wrong with inviting Zero. And I know some people want to jump on the, the hate bandwagon and be like, Oh, he got ninth at this tournament. Does he really deserve it? It's like, yes. Yes, he definitely still deserves it. I don't care, you know, you know, what kind of beef you got with the guy or the fact that, you know, you just want to hate because he's doing so well, whatever it is. Okay, Zero absolutely deserves to get invited. He was a shoe-in from the start. In fact, most of you guys also would have agreed that he was a shoe-in from the start. Until he just got ninth at one tournament, and now you guys are all like, Oh, I don't know. Nah, nah, nah. He's going to make it. Cool fire, welcome to the sub pub, man. Thanks. Thanks, my man. Alright, so Zero, totally justified. Completely justified. I know he's mostly been streaming. He's been uh, staying away from, from competing a little bit. But, um, you know, you cannot deny that he's one of the best players of all time. That he's probably still really, really fucking good. That he just had one iffy tournament. And a lot of that could just be a big focus on streaming, etc. Totally fine as a pick. Now, here's where it gets juicy. Okay. Now we got Armada, Leffen, and Mutaking. The non-Smash players. These guys don't even play the fucking game. They don't play Smash. They're not in the community. No, uh, that joke's getting old. Uh, no, these guys are interesting picks because I did, I did see a Leffen pick coming, and I and I saw a Mutaking pick coming, but that was before. 
Uh, I, I don't know how many events Mewtwo King's been to. I only know of the one at Smash Conference where he got like 33rd, so he didn't do very well at all. And he hasn't even picked a main yet. But, um... But I, I, but I still see why they would pick someone like Mewtwo King because Mewtwo King is just a god at all all the games, right? He's he's pretty much a shoe in to be really fucking good at any of the games he plays. It just begs the question: Did he deserve it more than like Void or Samsora or Salem or Hugs? All right, these are the questions you got to ask yourself. Um. But they chose Mewtwo King, and I'm not sure if this was a decision that was made before uh, Smash Conference, or if this was just a decision that was made afterwards, and they just didn't really uh, mind the decision, because Mewtwo King obviously has star power, obviously a lot of fans, a lot of people love him, he's obviously very good at the game regardless, right? Etc. Um... Now, I did expect a little bit of Leffen. His stream has been popping off like crazy. Uh, he's been uh, what's it called? Uh, practicing too, and he competed at, at uh, Valhalla. I think that's the only Smash Ultimate Tournament he's competed at live. So he does not have the live credentials, but he's got the fan base. He's got the... The spice, the opinions, the, the the kind of shit that everyone would get excited about, you know, seeing a player at Summit for. By the way, yo, how do I say that? E7 Rick, Etrick. Yo, welcome to the sub man. Um, he got 7th at Valhalla, so he's definitely no slouch. He's good. Um, Leffen played Mr. R online today and 8 3 him. Dude, I have not seen Mr. R at any events yet. Have I? What's going on there? Anyway. Um, so, uh, in terms of live tournament qualifications, absolutely not. No way. But, uh, he brings the hype. And if there, like I said, if there's any time to have a summit be a complete shit show, it is this one. The first one. And, and then... These three picks, uh, actually, I'll, I'll get to Ar Armada first. Armada was the strangest of the six, in my opinion. Armada hasn't attended any tournaments, from what I know of. Uh, he also doesn't have, like, like he's got a big stream right now. Like, it's going great. But it's not Leffen and Zero big. Or Nairo big. You know what I mean? Um, but, uh, but he also hasn't attended tournaments. So then you, you gotta wonder, what's... What's the pick for? And, and, you know, I'm saying right now, I have no problems with Armada getting invited, even despite these facts, because, number one, Armada could be the greatest Smash player of all time. I know it's like comparing apples to oranges if you're doing Melee to another game, but let's be real here, Melee's been the longest lasting, it's been the most competitive, and he's been the fucking most consistently great uh, the, he's the coat, the most consistent of all time, the boat, the best of all time, the goat, uh, all of that is Armada. So while his credentials may not apply to this particular game, you can put some money down that he's going to be pretty damn good. Okay? And, and I'm sure he's doing well every single day. Like, he's getting better every single day. No questions. Right? And uh, he's going to work his ass off for it, etc. And it also brings the hype of, uh, you know, someone so accomplished in the Smash scene, but just a different game and all these people meeting in a brand new game. To be fair, to be fair, Smash 4 and Ultimate are not the same game either. So to be inviting people based on Smash 4 merits, huh, why not Melee 2? Why not Armada 2? And, you know, there are some arguments that it's closer to Smash 4 than Melee. True. But uh, I wouldn't put it past someone like Armada to be really fucking good by the time the game rolls or by the time Summit rolls around. He'll probably compete just fine. It's just this pick is just a little more confusing because at that point, like, you know, when, when people ask, like, why not Void? Why not Samsora? Why not Salem? Why not Tweak? 
They're looking at these three right here on the right. They're looking at Leffen, Mewtwo King, and Armada. Why are they there? They're mostly looking at Leffen and Armada. Um, but you know what? Fuck it. All right. They got ESAM into the Melee Summit. Fuck it. We'll get our boys into the, Sma into the Smash Ultimate Summit. Deal with it. I hope they all quit as soon as Summit is done. I hope they all quit Ultimate at the moment. That MK Leo wins his trophy. And then they out. Never to be seen again. And even that would be uh, would be less angering to people. Because then nobody actually paid for them to go. They just got invited. No, but I'm, I'm just kidding. They're, uh, I hope they actually stick around and keep playing. And I honestly believe that they will. I think Armada is going to be playing for a while. I think Armada is going to legit be playing for quite some time. Because he's retired from Melee, and I don't think he could just completely step away from Smash. You know, what's he going to do? He's going to be a bank teller or something? Like, no. Armada's still going to do streaming and Smash. So, he he's doing it. He's, he's going to do this. Um, now, uh, I saw a tweet from Hungrybox where, you know, if you're going based on this criteria, Hungrybox might be like, well, what the fuck? Why not? Why not me? Like, I'm actually entering tournaments. I actually almost beat Salem. You know? And I also got a pretty big stream. Like, why not HBox? You know? And and he... Uh, wait, wait, did he win the last summit? I keep forgetting. Yes. Yes, he did. All right? He won it over Armada. He lost to Armada, but then Hungrybox came back and won it. Um... Also, the best melee players for like the past two to three years, yes, is is Hungry Box. Um, has it been two years? Shit. Right? Or why not Mango? Mango's stream is bigger, and he's just as unproven in tournaments as Armada. So why not Mango? You know, it's weird. Actually, Mango would have been a really sick invite here instead of one of these people. That would have been oh, that would have been hype city. Now, because you're not inviting Mango, you risk. You risk Mango not qualifying because <laughs> he's not actually going to... I don't know if he's going to be good enough. But you risk Mango not qualifying and then he doesn't get to be here. You know? But, um... But, yeah. Uh, now, these three players are definitely the ones that people look at and say, why not these other players? Why not these bigger players? Or why not these more proven players? And, uh... There's going to be a lot of pressure on these guys. There's going to be a lot of pressure on them to perform, to actually show that they belong there in some kind of way. Not just hanging out, not just being a personality, but actually competing. You know? But props to Summit for being so smart to automatically invite these guys. Would Mango say yes to an invite? I think he would. Uh, maybe, actually. Maybe not, because he's got to worry about his stream numbers, especially after losing a week. Because he fucking got banned. He might care more about being on stream than, than being here. And he's going to get to stream and watch this. Right? Like I'm going to do. <laughs> if I don't get invited. Um, or Mango could qualify and then campaign. And then just... oh, Dude, campaigning on this is going to be fucking ridiculous. Because it's going to be more ridiculous than the craziest Melee Summit. When it was like Crush and, and Amsa... And hacks money all competing for tons of money because of their huge fan bases. But then in this case, it's going to be worse. It's going to be fan bases of players and one game against fan bases of players of another game. And so the, the, the money is just going to go through the fucking roof. It's going to be ridiculous. And so I hope... It's, it's going to be nuts. It's going to be absolutely nuts. You're going to see... So, like, let's say... Let's just picture a world where... Where Tweak... Zachary... Samsora... And DeBuzz make it in. They're, they're the four invites, let's say, right? So then you got Salem. Do you think the community is going to allow Salem not to make it in? Salem's making it in. Salem was making it in because everyone wants to see Leffen versus Salem. Okay? 
All right, and then you got other people competing. Oh, Light is New England? Oh, Light's making it in. So you got Light, right? Really good player and New England. So everyone's, uh, so you know New England is going to be organized. And you know that Matt Dodzeb and the New England Melee people are probably going to try to do it for the Ultimate people as well. I, I think. I'm not sure. I'm guessing. All right. Now imagine like those two. And then imagine like Esam with his fan base. All right. And then now imagine other people competing on the melee side like mango with his fan base ridiculous do you think people are gonna not try to get the nation in they're gonna try to get the nation in all right me god damn it, we've made it in first round every melee one we've tried all right the sub pub is strong all right i'll try to get in all right what about uh what about uh rishi who's like legitimately competing what about pluck a god of melee who's actually competing and really good at ultimate. What about chillin'? What about chillin'? What, it, like, right? Can you imagine, like, let's say, like, I'm competing or chillin's competing. And, like, we're kind of getting washed by, like, I don't know, whoever's, like, like, the buzz or something. And then melee is like, nah, fuck that. Let's get our boys in. And then melee starts coming through with the, the votes and shit. And then Dub Buzz's people got to come through with their votes. It's just going to be wild. It's going to be everywhere. Yo, what's up, Hugs? Here from Peng Boys. Yo, thanks, my man. Thanks for watching. I hope you hit that follow button so you could uh, stay tuned whenever I'm live. I'm glad uh, Peng Boys is bringing some people to my stream. Was I on a recent highlight or something? No. But, um... But, yes. Uh, lots of interesting... Uh, opt-ins that could take place and lots of interesting matchups that could take place at the actual summit and i think this might be the first summit uh, it's not the first it happens but you're gonna see some people truly get washed i mean like they're gonna try to compete they're gonna be popular enough to make it this is such a weird timeline because you're gonna have people that are popular enough to make it and they're gonna practice they're gonna try to be good but they're not going to be on the level of the really good players. And they're just going to get fucked. I don't... Of these players... Of these players... I, I don't see... I don't see Armada or Leffen or Mewtwo King making top 8 at this summit. I don't see it. I, I, I'm, call, I'm calling that they don't. I think they're going to be fine. I think they're going to hold their own and they're going to look kind of impressive. They're going to be kind of like the meme pics of the melee summits where people are like why you know why is this player there and then and then they have like a good showing during the crew battle they're like oh yeah see they're showing what they got and then they do kind of well in doubles oh see they're not bad and then they kind of get washed in singles and everyone's like ah, it happens it's summit it's the hardest tournament of all time i get it right that's what's gonna happen here right people are gonna are gonna be like armada left and are gonna get washed and then they're gonna they're going to kind of look good during crew battles or kind of look good during doubles or whatever they're doing. And then people are going to be like, see? Like, you know, like it's going to be four socks versus four socks. Armada versus versus light. And then Armada ends up winning that with one stock and everyone's going to be like, see? And then the bracket happens and Armada just goes like three and out. You know? That's going to happen. So yeah, uh, we'll see. It's going to be fun. Definitely hyped for it. Definitely a good lineup from Summit if you respect the fact that they are going for hype and viewership. All right?